Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 17 Mod Spotlight, where today we're having a look at some Flegel High Capacity Shovels. These were uploaded on Tuesday, I think, to the Mod Hub, or released. And if I go straight in here, you can see we got a range of four different shovels, from 2,050 litres, 2,800 litres, uh, 3,400 litres, and 4,000 litres. They're all for the standard front loader now. You might have spotted real quick that I do have a front load already. Actually, I just want to see if there's a... Because uh, I didn't check this yet. Is there... Yes, they're just front loader shovels. You can see that I've got a Kramer standing by over here ready to go. And I do actually have a little test area set up. You can see there's a trailer over there and a Harleyman. And a white patch, which is fertilizer. Uh, which is one of the few things I could... Well... Something that came. <laughs> I, I needed a, some sort of test material to test these out. Do you know what? The shovels. I can't really comment on the modeling. They're shovels. They're you know they're kind of basic. It's just going to be a case of do these work or do these not, and how does the fill plane look in them? And do you know what? The fill plane looks pretty good. They do work. This is a bit kind of pushing the Kramer as is. Let's see, the ah, the uh, unload plane is a bit odd. It kind of comes from underneath the shovel, through the bottom, and back up to the top. Which isn't exactly ideal. Um, and some of the collections seem a bit wonky, seeing that, is that just kind of shivered and pinged into a weird orientation after disconnecting. That was the smallest one. Let's check the next one up. Now, I will say, I'm not... 100% sure about the kind of texture work on these. They look kind of weird and concretey. I know they're supposed to be like stainless steel or brushed aluminium or something. I would imagine brushed stainless steel. And ooh, ooh. So these stickers you can see here: Flegel, um, the what is that? Some information, uh, control sticker, sir, <laughs> certified sticker, and another Flegel sticker. They disappear at the wrong ang wrong camera angles, which means that they maybe have a clip distance that is set uh, possibly a bit too low. Is there anything about them in the log? No. But there, be aware that there is some weirdness with the uh, decals or the ad strips, or whatever to call them. These do suffer from the same problem that all farm sim stuff has, that they only ever fill to 99%, but you can see this does have, I'm gonna say, 2,800 litre capacity, minus the, you know, 7 or so litres the farm sim just inexplicably takes. You can see that was really pushing the Kramer to the limits. And that's the second of the four range. I don't think the, to the top of the range one... Now, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is an unfair test. This is a very unfair test because, I'll tell you why, in the shop, uh, if I bring it up in the shop real quick, it does say it's recommended to use a back weight. Now this Kramer can't actually take back a rear weight. So this is, um, just by the way that I'm doing it for, ease, uh, for my own ease, an unfair test. However, if you want to use the Kramer yourself, because I think this is a very useful little tool for most farms, if you want to use the Kramer, this is going to give you a good idea of kind of what the maximum lift capacity for, well, at least fertilizer is, um, especially if you use something like MR. So we're at 96%, I think this can fill a bit more. 3,396, that's 3,400 liters. And you can see the rear wheels really want to come up now. You know, I can get a popping onto the front wheels very easily. Uh, this is about four and a half thousand litres in total on the ground, by the way. And again, it suffers from that weird um, particle system issue where it kind of comes out at the bottom at the start and goes up into the tr the um, shovel and goes back out. And it's a bit weird. It's kind of it, it's a bit of a rough edge that maybe could have been solved. Um, at some point when the mod was being made, possibly, you know, maybe it was a bit short on testing. The sticker issues as well, that kind of indicates that maybe this mod didn't get tested as much as it, it, it maybe deserves. Because um, I think, you know, this 
these shovels are good. They're good shovels. The textures don't exactly inspire me, but that's a personal preference thing. So we're up to 3,984 litres in this 4,000 litre bucket, and this is just going to tip the Kramer, no doubt. Oh, no, it's... I mean, it wants to tip, but this is really right up at the limit of where you want it. Because you can kind of... You can kind of balance it with the bucket uh, to do some cool stunts, you know. Yeah, you can see the real wheel wants to come up, and if you leave it come up, that will just come up the full way, but you can kind of... You can manage the weight with the bucket and get it back down on the ground. But like I said, this is an unfair test, you know. Realistically, you're going to want big, big weight on the back. The biggest one you can afford. And... Do these buckets work? Yes. Are they buckets? Yes. Do they maybe need a small bit of work to be 100% perfect? Absolutely. I think the um, issue with the decals can be fixed very quickly and very easily by the mod author. Um, and if you've got probably like five minutes to spare, you can do it yourself in G more, than, more often than not. Um, are the decal issues a game breaker? No is the fact that I'm doing an essentially unfair test, you know, me saying, oh, I don't like these because I'm doing an unfair test. No, it's just, I like using Kramer. It's the easiest front loader to get your hands on. When I do front loader tools, it will be the Kramer I use to test because it is, it, it's just one piece of equipment as opposed to two. It, you know, using something like this just ensures that I get the maximum frame rate possible because I've got less items there. Um, so while in some cases like with this, like with these um, buckets, it can be an unfair test, it is going to be the baseline front loader piece of equipment. Now, you did see that it did actually hold up with all four sets of buckets, right up to the 4,000 litre bucket, which I genuinely thought this thing wouldn't be able to cope with. But it did reasonably well, and if you manage the bucket well, you won't have a problem. Uh, even with the little Kramer. You can see that, you know, it, it kind of does want to bounce around just from the weight of the bucket itself. And there is a bit of desync going on, but that's kind of a farm sim thing that always happens. Um, would I recommend these buckets? I mean... Here's the thing, if you want a big bucket, why don't you just get a telehandler? Um, I guess maybe if you want to save a bit of money, uh, and you've got weights lying around, heavy weights lying around, for your front loader tractor because you do a lot of bail work maybe or or you use MR because trust me MR you're gonna need heavy weights all the time then maybe yeah this is gonna be the pack for you but at the same time MR does tweak the weights of different things so these buckets while they will hold probably the same amount will be incredibly heavy they'll be much heavier um, which would kind of run you into the same issue of, well, yeah, at this point you're probably better off getting a telehandler. Um, or even a wheel loader. Especially if you want to move 4,000 litres at once. I mean, the wheel loader bucket, the uh, small one holds 6,000 litres. So you're kind of up around that range already with the 4,000 litre bucket. Telehandler bucket holds 4,500. So you're, you're basically at the level of, level of a telehandler bucket. What this pack does do, though, which I like is it fills the gaps because, I mean, you look at this, you're starting off with basically 2,000 litres. I think the skid steer bucket is just a little over. 2,000 litres exactly. And then you get 2,050 litres. Maybe, you know, that's a nice kind of in-between you value. 2,800, that's going to be a really nice general use bucket. And then you get 3,400. That might be pushing it a bit for a tractor. And then a 2.8 metre wide 4,000 litre bucket, which... I can't see many reasons why you'd use this, but I could definitely see people using it um, to load grain or wood chips. Um, like it does say, you know, it's great for loading light goods like wood chips. It's probably not very good for silage, you know. If you're going to be doing silage, you're going to be wanting a telehandler, you're going to be wanting a wheel loader, you're going to be wanting, if you want to load it into a, um, a trailer maybe, a skid steer. You're not going to be wanting to get this shovel. It's too big. Uh, for a tractor. This one, maybe you can get away with a tractor for 2,050 litres, maybe at a push 2,800 for silage, but it is going to be mainly, you know, 
your grain crops, maybe potatoes and sugar beet. I can't remember what the density of those are in game. Maybe manure, but that is quite heavy. Uh, but definitely like wood chips, chaff, pig feed maybe, uh, straw, hay, grass, that kind of stuff. You can move around with this, no problem. Um, what I recommend this mod, do you know, if you need in the middle sized shovels that aren't in the game, then yeah, you might want to have a look at these legal buckets, shovels, whatever. Um, if not, then yeah, you can give it a miss. This is, it's really down to what you want to have in your game with these. I personally won't probably use these ever, but I think they're kind of a nice space filler in the range of, of uh, shovels and buckets available in game. I'm going to leave it here. I'll leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching Farming Simulator 17 Mod Spotlight. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.